been a really good year to go backcountry riding due to the fact that gondolas keep getting attacked. Yeah, so is there like a... Is gondola there like a, Well, I was, I was going to say like a gondola god that just is angry or something like that. Like, did we not sacrifice a gondola or a chairlift the right way this year? And that's why the gondola gods are mad? I don't, I don't know. Any, any ideas? Yeah, uh, so... For people that don't know, Copper's new Chondola, when they were testing it, one of the gondola cabins fell off. It hit some debris or a ladder or something from the construction. It completely fell. That was gondola cabin number 21, just so you know. So now I know when you get into gondola cabin number 21 that you're on the lucky cabin. That's probably the safest one because they're like, we're never letting that thing fall off again. Yeah. So that that collapsed, um, that delayed their opening at Copper, which they still don't even have yeah, flyer, flyer open. open which I don't is even know what they're waiting on now. Like the whole thing's up. It's know. ready. Like yeah. I don't know what they're waiting for to turn it on. And then uh, Stratton Mountain had a pipe yeah. burst on their snowmaking Whee! that sprayed the gondola and was hitting the cabin and blowing it completely sideways. <laughs> and there were seven people, I believe, in there. Is what they said. Yeah, How terrifying would that be to be in a gondola cabin getting hit with a couple hundred mile per hour? Uh, Water, water spraying it in the cold because it was yeah. freezing right on yep. and stuff. And I guess it, I guess it took like twelve or thirteen minutes for it to stop or something ridiculous like that. Well, the so, thing is, like, you can't like it's it's pretty freaking hard to predict like stopping the lift. Yeah. So you know, you, I'm sure that's gonna be the first thing people say. Well, why didn't they just stop the lift? Well, I mean, I think they did. I but think like, they did, but it was spraying right on it. The yeah. gondola cabin was almost sideways. Yeah, it was a gnarly video. And then up in Montana, they had a power surge, and their chairlift went down, and they had to repel people. I think it was like 100 or 180 people. It might have been more than that. They had to repel them down into this, like, valley couloir type thing, and I guess it was, like, 40-plus degree pitch stuff. It was the gnar. Yeah. And they had to, I mean, like, they just, no one was injured. That's impressive. That's unfortunate. Which Shout out to that, that. No, actually, ski that, patrol out there. Yeah, those guys did their easy. job. Which is funny because Breckenridge had a power outage that fried uh, the sensors in the bottom terminal on the Quicksilver chair, and they had to repel people off that too mm -hmm. right after Christmas. Um, yeah, it's just been a weird year for chairlifts out there. People have been, yeah. which I've, I remember one time at Breck, I was with my friend Randy, and Randy, and, uh, we were on the six pack chair on peak seven at the top, and it was we got hit with some sustained winds of like seventy or eighty. The chair was completely sideways, and they couldn't move us till the winds died. So we were just sitting there blowing in the wind with the yep. restraint bar down. Just, I mean, we were holding on to it because I figured we were just gonna fall right out the bottom. Yeah, and sideways. That's not not fun. I've been trapped on the Breck gondola too. When I had a power surge or something, the thing was just swaying back and forth. I don't know. That's... I mean, you're essentially on a flying couch. It's a flying couch. Yeah. So, That's really what it is. But... Could you imagine being in a gondola getting sprayed with water, though? Um, Are you afraid of heights? No. Okay. It would be then. My, my boss is. Cause I, I just... Could just see George just freaking the fuck out. Mm -hmm. Like... Oh my god, but it's it's gnarly. Like I'll put the video back here for those of you on YouTube so you can see it. Otherwise I'll link to a story with it. But you watch that video, it was fucked. And it made it on the it was like all over Instagram and yeah, shit it was, like that. I mean, because it was gnarly looking. Like if it had just been the water spray and like, you know, whatever, that would have been one thing, but you could see the cabin just kicking. Yeah, and it was. I'm surprised aggressive. it did. I'm surprised it just didn't let go. I'm yeah. I'm. Those people were probably just rolling around inside it. Yeah. Like that. And that's the type of thing where that that thing comes loose where it was like those could have been deaths. Oh, that would have been deaths. Easy. Yeah, that would have been some great class action lawsuits because Stratton's veiled now, isn't it? Or is, no, no, Stratton's not. That's Icon, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Oh it man, is. Jesus, what is Vale sabotaging like the Icon resorts? <laughs> Because it, it just seems like those are the ones that are having was the Was the one in Montana? Was that? No, it wasn't, wasn't Big Sky. Big, no. no cause it, was okay. It? Maybe it was. I don't think I don't it was. No. It was Icon I don't think it was. But still, I mean, holy shit. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Any Anytime you're at a ski resort, 
just look at the snow carnies operating the chairlift and think to yourself, those are the ones that are going to be the first ones to try to save you. I don't want them anywhere near me. No. Like, I don't trust them. Yeah. I'm, I'm still going to ride lifts. Oh, uh, oh, I'm but. busy. <laughs> I mean, death or hike, I'll take death every time. I'm, I'm, I'm lazy as fuck. I'm super lazy. I just like groomers, and you can't get groomers in the backcountry. Unless you're Sean White, and you have your private half pipe. They, yeah. They fly your cat in there. and then you But I'm, I'm not, though. So you could be. I really can't. You could. I don't have the locks, and I can't be that big of a douche. I believe in you. <laughs> I know I could be. Oh, well. I'm an asshole. Yeah. Ask any of the people that I pick on in the comments section on YouTube. <laughs> mm-hmm. Fuck them. I don't care. But, yeah. All right. So, we got gondolas falling off. So, if any of you out there... In Snowboard Internet Land have been uh, attacked by a gondola. Please leave us a comment. Yeah, got any let good us, stories? Yeah, let us know your craziest uh, gondola story. 